Hey, welcome back to Snap Volt Games. My name's Max, and I'm here with another Modern League, and I'm going to be playing this pretty crazy deck today. This is Bring to Light Scape Shift. Um, and before I get into the deck and the card choices here, let me shout out my channel. It's youtube.com slash snapvolt. There's a link in the description below. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you subscribe, there should be a little bell. You can ring that bell, click it, then you'll know when my new content comes out. Throw a like on this video. It helps support me. And that's a good way to do it if you want to support my content and what I do. Thanks so much. Shout out to the sponsor of the channel as well, Card Hoarder. Um, thank you for the rental account, allowing me to make sweet videos with awesome decks like this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. So thank you so much. Check out Card Hoarder if you're interested in a Magic Online rental service. And let's just get right into this deck tech and then we'll get into some games. So I actually did just play one league of this deck. Definitely made some mistakes in the first league. Um, but I think I have a better handle on exactly what the deck's doing now. So we're a 30 land deck. That's our base. We're a ramp deck. Four Explorer, two Growth Spiral, spiral two Renin Six. But again, we're basically just a ramp deck with Dryad, Explorer, Growth Spiral. And then we can kill by going Bring to Light, go get Scape Shift, cast Scape Shift. And then if we have seven lands, we can just get Valka plus six Mountains. And if you have Dryad, it just goes off even harder because then the Valakuts are mountains as well. So that's one way to kill. Um, and alternatively, we can also just bring to light for something like Valky. We can bring to light for Supreme Verdict if we need to, or maybe even Jace. So there's a couple other things we can do to win. Um, but again, at heart, we're 30 lands. We're an Explorer deck, Dryad deck. So we just play a bunch of lands, just try to hit all our land drops play some removal spells, and then just really good Planeswalkers like Teferi, Jace, and then of course Omnath is, uh, fits right in. It's kind of weird to be this Val quad Valakut deck, um, Scape Shift, and not play Primeval Titan, but this is what people have been doing, and uh, I, I liked it in the first league, and again, I think I 2 3 the first league, but I made a lot of mistakes, and I think I could have won two of the matches I lost. This deck is actually pretty complicated, pretty tough to play, but the deck is really strong, so I think it's actually a pretty good choice in the modern meta right now. Yes, it can struggle against things like Blue Red Prowess and you know the other all the other top decks, but it is it is a good choice, and there's a lot of a lot of play to the deck. And in the sideboard, we have some bullets to get for Bring to Light, like Mad Cat for Platinum uh, Imperium. That's a pretty sweet one. We can also just get things like Timely Reinforcement, Celestial Purge if we need to. I actually just added this after the last league because I was having trouble with some Liliana of the Veils. And I was like, oh, Purge would be a nice card to have against Prowess type decks and Black decks. Um, Triple Veil of Summer is just good. Um, but then we also have other bullets like Anger of the Gods, Crumble the Dust, maybe even Blessing. But mostly this is just for Mill. Um, and that's basically the deck. We have an, a, a Veto and an Aether Gust as well. And then a couple damping spheres for big mana slash Tron decks. But uh yeah, Bring to Light Valky is still pretty strong. This actually, actually this art on Valky is actually kind of sick. Um I might like the original, but uh this is what we got in the rental. And it's uh, especially the front side with the hood up is pretty sick. I like it. So we're we're gonna jam it and we're gonna jam some crazy omnaths here. Let's go, let's go round one. All right, welcome to round one against Silence Song. Silence Song, maybe? Uh, this hand, yeah, we can cast some bolts off these Valakuts. Um, oh, a good game. Um, let's just mulligan this double Valakut hand, and this looks infinitely better. I think I'm actually going to put back Escape Shift, because I can protect it from, like, a Thought Seize and stuff. And I need to get up to seven mana before I want to cast this anyway, so... I want all these lands, but I don't know if I need this, this Escape Shift here, so... Just gonna put back scape ship, keep four lands, run in six dryad, and it looks like a pretty typical draw from this deck, to be honest. You actually have to mulligan a, a fair amount with this deck as well. See if our opponent keeps six or if they go five. My guess is they're gonna keep, they're just probably deciding what to put back. And we're just gonna jam a scape shift on the bottom of our deck, and then we'll probably shuffle it in at some point. All right, let's keep scape shift done, and they're on their six. Let's see what we're up against. Scalding Tarn. Could be Prowess, could be Through the Breach Emrakul, could be just something else. Actually going to lead 
fetch land and then just get a try land. We have a bunch of try lands in the deck. So I, I like to get those when I can. I guess we can just get the rug try land. Oh, it's uh it's blue living end. Okay. Interesting. They will have force and negations and stuff for us, but I don't know how I don't know if this matchup is like necessarily that bad. Let's get the rug try land. And then I think I can just go Steam Vents, Ren and Six. Plus get back Windswept Teeth. See if they remand this or something. I guess they I don't know if they have remand, do they? Do they just have force? It depends what version they're on. And I think I could actually go to Fairy because if they're the Cascade version, which typically I think they are these days, Teferi stops that. So I could play Teferi before Dryad potentially here. They're cycling a bunch. So if they just reanimate next turn, I think I lose to that. They're down to 12, but... Jeez, maybe, maybe they can't go off here. I think I need to play... Oh, they don't have another land? I think I need to play Teferi to be safe. So... I actually need to get either green-white, and I need to play a fetch because I need to plus run in six here and get back a land. So let's go green-white. Do to pay two life? Yes. Just play to fairy. Plus Ren, plus to fairy. Pass the turn. So they could still, as foretold, into living end here, which they do. Oh, crashing footballs. Okay, that's a lot better than living end. That's for sure. Okay, nice. So, I have some options. I'm going to start with Dryad. They can't respond to anything we do. I'm not going to be able to trigger a Valica this turn. 14, which isn't too bad. I do want to play Valica this turn. And play a fetch land. I wonder if I should just go to Fairy Bounce a Rhino. I feel like I should. I guess I should have done this first. There's a scape shift. Okay, well I should be able to win next turn. Okay, let's just fetch. I j I'm just gonna get. I wonder if I should leave the mountains in my deck or not. I think I'm safe to get them out. Not really sure. So they just have a 4-4 here, and I have a Dryad going, and I can play a second Dryad next turn and then just Valakut them out. I can actually go Dryad into Scapeshift next turn, and I have this Teferi in play. It'll be interesting to see if I should, if they attack Teferi, should I block with Dryad? Because then it protects my Scapeshift from any type of counter magic. And if they just reanimate, like, living in this turn, it doesn't really do anything anymore. I guess it kills this. Yeah, so I'm going to just actually block here. I think protecting my Teferi is more important. Because, again, I can just... Oh, I actually cannot... Because I lost this Dryad, I cannot go Dryad into Scapeshift. But I still think this is fine. If they living in here, it could be a problem. But it looks like they don't have it. There's a bring to light. Okay. Um, I can like double shoot. I can double bolt the rhino. I can actually just kill them with double fetch land, right? Again, so you have to bear with me. I'm still relatively new uh, to this deck. But I can just go Dryad. And then I'm triggering Valakut on all these fetch lands. So they can't respond to anything because of Teferi. So I don't think there's anything they can do here. That's why Teferi Time Raveler is in the deck, because when you're going for these like Dryad Valakut lines, when you have this in play, it's like you, there's literally just nothing they can do. So now I'm triggering this. I don't even need to show them another fetch, because I can just plus her and get this fetch land back. And this is, this is, again, just game, because I can just shoot them four times, because I can hit two land drops with Dryad, so I don't even need to, to escape shift here. Oh, 
though, but I guess I could actually. I don't I don't know what I'm what I've been saying. I'm like all over the place here. But again, should be good to go for the win. They just needed a living end. The turn they cast crashing footballs, they needed the living end. Okay. Wonder if they have any outs. They could have cryptic. But this still could be a problem for them. That could buy me a lot of time. I also don't need Veto. I want to see if I can look up like a standard a standard list that they have. Let's just look up a deck that has as foretold. Having trouble looking this up. One second. Well, I was having trouble looking up, but who cares? I'm, I'm just going to play it out. I think Veil of Summer should be good against them. I don't know how many I need. I don't think these targeted removal spells are actually that good. I could just slide them all out and just rely on, like, Bring to Light for Supreme Verdict and then have my Counter Magic, and I can still have my Mad Cat Platinum. I guess Mystical Dispute is also really good. It is kind of tough to sideboard with this deck because there's not, like, that much space. Again, I just don't think I need removal. Like, most of the time, they're either going to play Crashing Footballs, which these aren't great against, or just, like, play a Living End, basically. I can take, I can cut a Growth Spiral or an Explore, and then just play a bunch of Interaction. I think this is good. Could This could just be terrible. Also, Gaia's Blessing, <laughs> just actually casting it. I can just have them shuffle three of their creatures from their graveyard back into their library draw card. I mean, that makes their living end a lot less, a lot smaller. I just don't think I'm supposed to bring bring that in. Let's just try this. I think Veil of Summer is actually good. They they have to have Force of Negation or Cryptic, right? All right, we'll keep this. This deck is just clunky. This is just like, I think the type of hands we're supposed to keep. I don't know if Veil of Summer is good against them, but I'm I'm running it. Uh, I want to get my top land down this turn. I think what I'll do is I'll just play like a Windswept Heath, and then I can have Crack for Forest for Veil up this turn. End of their turn, I'll just fetch the Rug Tri Land because I can. Mouse is kind of freaking out here. Let's get the Ketria Triome, and then now I'll probably just play Rat Rogren Triome. <laughs> These Triomes were a pretty sick design. I figured they would see modern play and everyone told me I was crazy, but I think they're actually pretty good. All right, should I just play Dryad? I think I am supposed to. Maybe I'm supposed to like be playing around Remand or, and stuff here, but let's just go. If this resolves, then I still get to have Veil up. If it doesn't, then it's probably going to get remanded. Yeah. And then I am can still just play Dryad with Veil up next turn. Yeah, that sucks that they were able to just fire off their reman, but I think this is good. Now I can just Veil a Cryptic, which would be so sick. All right, now let's just go Forest, Dryad, leaving up Veil for Cryptic, remand. I think I'm just going to Veil this. And they just Spell Pierce the Veil. Okay. That's fine. I can't really do much next turn. I could play Double Dryad, but I probably don't want to. Because I want to play around Living End. Because if they Living End, they Wrath away both my Dryads. Oh, there's a Scape Shift, though. Okay, I still think I just likely want to play one Dryad, and I mean, it's probably going to get countered anyway. Let's just start with Dryad. And then I can just play like a tap land here. Again, I don't think I want to play double Dryad, so it's not. Okay, and they're at 17, so anytime I can resolve a scape shift, I win.
wonder what they're what's their red for? Is it for like Prismari command or something? I don't know their deck that well. Okay, oh yeah, Electro Dominance. Just target me for three. And then you may cast a spell from your hand. So they're just gonna crashing footfall up here. I guess they could living end and then kill me. Okay. It's just footfalls. Okay, nice. So now I still do need to resolve this scape shift, but um, I'm going to go for it, obviously. If they draw, that's a good sign for me. And now, even if they living end here somehow, um, I can still just beat that because they living away my dryad, and then I just go dryad scape shift. So they're going to attack for eight. I want, they might just living end here. Going to just take eight, sure. They need a Force of Negation, or they lose, I think. Oh, and I have Mystical Dispute as well? Nice. So, I think they're 100% dead here. Let's go play Misty, play Steam Vents. Would you like to pay two life? Yes. Now let's just... Might as well play Dryad, right? Play Dryad, play Scape Shift. I, I guess I should just float uh float mana here. And then this should be it. We can just sack all our lands and get a bunch of Valakuts because we have the Dryads. So it doesn't matter what we get. Okay, wait. Okay. I think that's enough triggers. <laughs> They're going to make me do it. Okay. It's fine with me. <laughs> Alright, they conceded. GG's. <laughs> that is so much damage. How many triggers did we have? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 30, 31, 32 triggers. 32 times 3, what is that? <laughs> yeah, 30, it's 32 times 3, so it's 96 damage. Sweet. Let's go round 2. I'll see you there. All right, welcome to round 2 with Bring to Light Scape Shift. Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. I'm going to keep this hand. Let's go. Got some bolts for interaction for early plays. We have decent mana. We have double dryad. We need more lands. We need more threats, but I'm going to keep this hand. We're going to Dur Lure. 19, or 19. Forest Glistener. No, Elvish Reclaimer. Okay, this could be a mirror or some sort of mirror. Let's just go land. Lightning Bolt this, pass the turn. And then I'm just going to fetch another Tryland. I like to get them out of my deck as well. I know I'm getting Mountains out of my deck. Okay, well, I can just kill these Reclaimers. I, I've never been a big fan of this card. I know it can be powerful, but I don't like it. I don't like it that much, honestly. I wonder if I'm just supposed to fetch Shock here. My gut is telling me no. I guess I'm going to have to, if I want to go Dryad into land, into Bolt, I'm going to need to Shock next turn. But why don't I just get Rogrin Triome, untap, and then let's just go, I guess I can get Plains, play Dryad, and then play Wooded Foothills, and then just Bolt this, use just using this for mana from Dryad. So let's just do that. This could still be Amulet from our opponent, but I don't think it is. That seems unlikely to me. So let's just go Dryad, Foothills, not crack it, and then just use this for mana and bolt this. I don't even know if that's right either, but I like it. 
I haven't been naturally drawing the Valkits that much, but it's so good when you do because you're then you have there's 30 lands and your four dryads. So when you naturally draw Valkits, you can just hit land drops and just trigger. Wow, triple reclaimer. So this is the mirror, at least some sort of mirror. Okay, we we have the Jace though. So I think I want to just play Jay. Oh, they missed a land drop? I could just play Jace and bounce this, but. They, they might have Bolt as well. Maybe I just play Jason plus. I let them activate once. Then this is going to get plus two, plus two next turn. They missed a land drop though. Play Jay's Brainstorm, hit more land drops is pretty enticing. Then it just dies to Bolt, which is annoying. It's pretty close between Jace plus and Jace... Brainstorm. How likely is it that they have a lightning bolt with reclaimers? I feel like I'm just going to go for the value. I'm just going to go for the brainstorm here. Oh, they're F6. Okay, well, that makes it easy. Wow. And we have Valka plus two lands here. It's really good. So I just get to Valk it this way now. So let's just go. Oh, I can even explore as well. Oh, not if I play Valk it first, which I need to do. Okay, so let's just put this on top and then this on top. And then go play Valk it, play land, shoot this. This is just insane here. These draws have been, <laughs> they concede. Nice. So yeah, the Jace, when I was looking at lists, nobody was playing Jace, and I was thinking, why is nobody playing one copy of Jace? You can bring Delight for it to be infinite life, and it's just such a good card. Like, don't you want at least one Jace? So I was like, ooh, I want a five fairy too, and I was like, uh, I don't know if we need five fairy. We don't even have counter spells. Okay. I think Mystical Dispute is good. Dovin's Veto I think is good. Aethergust is also good. I don't actually know how good Veil of Summer is, because a lot of these decks, like ours, you don't really play that many counter spells. Ooh, Crumble to Dust. I can just nail their uh, their Valakut. I don't know if Madcap for Platinum is actually that good. There's just Teferi, there's Path, there's a lot of things like that. Cutting down on too many bolts and paths seems risky because of Elvish Reclaimer. Man, it's so hard to sideboard with these decks. Supreme Verdict could come out. Can also just be decent against like Dryads and Counterspells and stuff. I can cut a couple Growth Spirals, go a little bit slower. I can cut one bolt and one path. It's a little bit greedy, especially... I. Do want to be able to kill the reclaimers on site. Hmm. If they're just sitting there with an active reclaimer, it's just gonna be so bad for me. I guess path is is not good, right? The thing is, like you also want answers to dryad. But pathing them just does seem pretty bad. I could just sideboard like this, or I can just sideboard like this and just try to do my own thing killing their reclaimers and then ignoring their dryads. Bolt also only kills early reclaimers, but it just seems bad giving ramping them a land is like they're just gonna kill me then. Okay, let's try this. Obviously bring to light for crumble to dust is just insane. Alright, we have to mulligan. This is one land. Right, let's keep they're on the play. Dryad is very good. Can't I don't want to put back a land. I guess I'm putting back a Dryad here. Yeah, we don't know if we need to. Okay. They're gonna reclaim her. I mean, I don't have an answer for it. I have three bolt in my deck. Slider out the paths. I think that's correct. 
See if they have a flagstones here. Bolt? No. Escape shift. All right. So let's get to seven lands. I wanted to keep the growth spiral because it's my only two, turn two play here. Are they just going to activate Reclaimer and get um, Flagstones? Cleansing Wildfire. Okay. Interesting that they just snap that off. Doesn't seem that great to me. Like, don't you want to start activating? Isn't that better than Cleansing Wildfire just like a tri land? Like a random tri land? Hmm. I can just. Growth Spiral right now? I don't hate it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get a basic here. And then go Spiral. And then probably play a Windswept Teeth. Then I'll, I'll just fetch for a, another Ketria Triome. This deck is actually pretty fun. Oh no, not I don't want Ketria. I want um, Rogrin. <laughs> These fucking names. Have you seen anybody watching this the new modern horizons 2 card spoiled the name literally go it doesn't have a mana cost the name literally goes across the entire top of the card it is insane it's just like it i guess it's some character from magic's past but i have no clue how to pronounce it it doesn't have a mana cost and then if you've discarded a card you can play it for one hybrid red black so one mana and then i don't even remember what it does honestly i just looked at it briefly <laughs> it is an insane card all right let's get Rogrin. All right, I mean, I can just go to Fairy here. They have to force it. Force it. If not, they just don't get to kill to Fairy. I get to bounce this as well. So weird that they're they just don't want to activate. Like what? It, what? I don't understand. I think to Fairy is better than Dryad. Again, they need Force of Negation here. They don't have blue mana untapped. I just get to bounce this draw card, play another tap land, and then I can Dryad next turn. Dryad plus Renin 6 next turn. And then I'm pretty close to just killing with Scape Shift. Yeah, I just really don't like um, the Reclaimer. I did not want to build a Reclaimer deck, that's for sure. I've just never been that much of a fan of this card. I, I guess I can't hate, hate on it any more than I really already am. I'm hating on it pretty hard. Okay. So we're pretty close to killing here. So they can't respond to anything I do. So if I just go... If I play Dryad, I'm not going to have enough mana to scape shift. If I go Explore, I can go Explore into scape shift, but then I only have six lands. It's not enough without a Dryad in play, so... Yeah, we just go Dryad. And then I just keep this fetch land in play, I think, and then I can if I draw another land, I can go explore into Renin Six. Cause I can go play Renin Six plus get a land back. I guess that's the safer option. Let's just do that. Red, green, Ren and Six. Plus it. I like just Ren and Six. I guess I could have just gotten Ketria Trial and played it, but I think this is fine too. Yeah, so next turn I should be able to kill. I had an interesting situation that came up in one of my other games where I had a Dryad in play and then I played an Explore, but they killed the Dryad in response, and then I didn't get my extra land drop from Dryad, because this just says you can play an additional land, and this says you can play an additional land, but then this wasn't in play, so my overall additional lands for turn remained at one more only, so it's interesting. So if they're able to play three lands this turn, which I don't think they're going to be able to do, they can kill this Dryad. I guess they can go fetch land, five mana, Activate Reclaimer. Oh, so they can. Oh, no, but this only hits players or Planeswalkers. Oh, each player and each Planeswalker you don't control? Jeez. 
the thing is here, if they just deal me four damage, so they're gonna make five mana, they can activate Reclaimer, and they can get to the third mode on Omnath, but then I can just I have a scape shift in hand and an Omnath and a Dryad in play. So if they just tap out, deal me a bunch of damage and kill both of my planeswalkers, I still just win next turn. So they need to do something else. Like maybe they need to play Bring Delight here or play Teferi, but I bet you they just activate Reclaimer. No, they're playing Bring Delight. Oh, Dryad. Ugh. Dryad, play a second land, then get, trigger the last mode on Omnath, and then also activate Reclaimer. They don't have a Valica, but I guess they can get one here. But then I still just kill them. Because I just go land, scape shift. And I guess then they need Force of Negation. So this is activating Reclaimer, getting Valica, shoot me for three, and then I just win on my turn. Hope that's all it is. I mean, that was obviously a good turn from them, but... Activate Reclaimer. It's a 3-4 now. Get Valica. I don't know what else they would get. Trigger Omnath, but it's already been triggered three times. It doesn't do anything. And they just shoot me for three, and then I just scape shift. They need Force of Negation. Nice, because I have a Dryad in play. Sweet. And I even just get to have Aether Gust up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just play this tapped. And then just add a bunch of mana. And then let's just go scape shift, sack all my lands, and just get all my Valakits again. Nice. Pretty straightforward. 2040. Let's go round three. All right, welcome to round three. Snap, keep this hand. Snap, bolt, snap, keep. Let's go. It is kind of a crime that I oh lantern? What? I don't have a fetch land yet either. Hmm. Sketchy. So both of our libraries are revealed. I'm just gonna keep playing. They know about one explorer. This Renin 6 not really doing anything yet, but if they start milling me, I can start using Renin 6. And there's the shredder. Okay, they can control my draws. But again, I have a Renin 6 here, and I have a Valakit in play, and they're milling my Teferi. That is fine, sure. I don't really even want that. And then Pixis, they're going to exile this Bring to Light, I assume. All right, let's make this uh, both the same size, because that is tilting me. <laughs> so th this is our library, and this is their library. And they're saying each player exiles. Okay, nice. Stomping Ground is actually a good draw. I'm down to draw Stomping Ground. And a Triome on top. So I can just play an Explore this turn, or I can play a Renin 6 plus on nothing. What's better? Even if they mill any lands, then I can just start Renin 6 plus and getting them back. But playing an Explore means next turn I'm able to go Explore plus Renin 6, which I think is probably just better. So I think I'm just going to explore plus stomping ground tapped or untapped. Is there any way I want bolt? So again, this is just lantern lock. They just try to play lantern and then control your draws. But they need to stop us from drawing lands and stop this run in six. So I think this is going to be tough just the way that this game broke down for them to stop us. But who knows? There's Triome. I guess I'll just play Triome. Because now I have good good mana as well. I don't have any fetch lands yet, like I said, but at some point, are they gonna mill one of my lands? Probably. That was only our turn two. Looking good here. There's another explorer on top. I don't think they care about giving that to us. Oh, I guess they don't want to draw that second line turn. And there's a scape shift. They'll probably just mill that. So we cannot scape shift kill them anymore. So it's going to be natural Valica. They mill our scape shift, and there's a sacred boundary. That's good. I like to see it. They let us draw it. Now, again, I don't have anything to get back with this Renin 6, which is just kind of funny. 
Um, and I only have one green source at the moment, but I can just play this stopping ground. So let's just go explore. And there's a wooded foothills on top, which most likely we're not going to get to draw. There's nothing I can do about that. Let's just play this, pay two life, green, red, ren and six. And they have a thought seize on top, so I definitely need to play the ren now. I need to resolve it also, yeah. So it's just plus ren, no, no action, no card to take, and just keep playing um, mountains out. Want a sacred foundry or a steam vents? I don't know if it matters. I'll just play it tapped. I don't think I need bolt up here. Oh wow, they had assassin's trophy. Wasn't expecting that. Might as well get a land out of our deck, right? So they need to stop us from drawing mountains now, which now they might be able to do. They take a bolt, it's fine. They mill the sword, makes sense. And they ancient stirrings, taking botanical sanctum, play it, and they have a cage on top. Okay. We have a Savai Trium. They're exiling it, an exiling cage. Okay. Growth spiral on top. I'm fine with growth spiral. Let's just play this tapped, pass the turn. Again, they need to stop us from drawing any mountains. Every mountain we draw is going to be a lightning bolt. Ancient stirrings, sure. They put Codex Shredder into their hand. They have zero cards in hand, and they have triple Shredder effect in play. So they can control our draws pretty well here. They can stop us from getting Dryad. I can fight back with a fetch land, but that's all I can do. Are they going to give us this? They do. I wonder if they're going to give us Lightning Bolt too. So I have one, two, three, four mountains. This is the fifth mountain. And then after that, I start bolting, which I want to wait. Maybe I can get multiple Valakuts, but it's not looking that likely. All right, let's just play Wooded Foothills and pass. I guess they're going to let me draw this Lightning Bolt. Oh, there's Thopter. So I can't beat Thopter Foundry here, right? So I think I need to go Fetch, and then Growth Spiral. I wanted to save this Fetch, but now with Foundry on top, that's just going to kill me pretty quick. Um, definitely want to get Mountain here. Explore on top. It's not great. Sure, I'll put that into play and bring to light on top. They're going to exile that. Okay, I need like three good cards on top in a row. There's a Jace. They, they mill that. And there's a Valky. Okay, they have to exile that. I need one more good card. And I have an Explorer as well. Oh, they can't Pixis. So they cannot Pixis the Valky, and then I can Valky exile the Thopter. So they might need to Pixis the Valky. Oh no, I don't have black mana. I didn't get I didn't get the black source. See, this is what I'm talking about. This deck is tough. Fuck. Totally punted. I needed to get the the black triome hunted hard there they realized they didn't have a black source now they i guess i try to explore draw the bring to light oh wow and they have to exile their softer okay well we did decently there there's a windswept teeth so now i can get a black source and then cast this bulky but they have were so they can just were for the combo I can't cast Valky this turn. I can only cast it next turn. Because my only black source is a, is a trial land. See, that was just that was just experience of the deck. N not having experience of the deck just costing me. So now they can just whir for Thopter whenever they want. Alright, I have to do this now. I just totally messed up. I needed to get... Oh, wait. Oh, they milled it? Did they really? 
where they exiled it earlier. It's face down? Why is it face down? Oh, it's face down because of Pixis. Damn. So they literally exiled my Black Source. I just can't cast the Valky. I didn't even realize that. Oh, but now we get our first trigger. Okay. Try it on top. Which I assume they can just let me have. I guess they're milling it. They didn't even they don't even need to, honestly. Let's see if they give me Misty. This is always such a weird matchup. They're gonna work for Thopter end of turn unless they only had one Thopter that they exiled. So they mill the Dryad, fetch land on top. So yeah, here's a whir for Thopter. Oh, X equals four. They're gonna gain Hexproof here, I think. And then that's just game. Let's look at our list. I guess I can Teferi bounce that, but they're not gonna let me draw a Teferi, so I think it's over. My Jace is also milled. They're just gonna control my library for the rest of the game, but I suppose I'll just let this resolve and try to fight. Yeah, Witch Bane Orb, okay. I haven't seen this deck for a long time. It, it is not a fun deck to play against. They get Thoughtseize, sure. And they're gonna Thoughtseize my Bolt, or maybe my Valky. I can never cast Valky. Yeah, they just take it. They're gonna let me draw Misty. Yep. They mill my Mountain, sure. No reason to get mountains now because they have Witchbane Orb. I need to somehow get lucky and be able to put a... I, again, I think they're just only going to let me draw bad cards from here on out. So I think they successfully did what they needed to do. They put a Shredder back on top. Talisman into Shredder. Okay, sure. They're just letting me draw Fetchlands. So I have triple fetch land to fight against the shredders and stuff, but I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna choose to fight yet. Alright, ensnaring bridge is fine. They can also just mill me out relatively quickly here. There's a dryad, okay. I just don't think there's any way they mill my Dryad. They leave another fetch land on top. I don't even know how many mountains I have left. I don't think I have that many mountains left. I have 24 cards in library. They have 34. Man, them just having the Assassin's Trophy for the Renin 6 was just brutal because with Renin 6, it would have made a huge difference. Also being able to plus and then be able to like cast Scape Ship from the yard. Okay, there's a Balkit on top. I definitely want that. Let's play another fetch, pass. They mill, they try to mill my Balkit. Let's just save it. Just get a forest. Wow, and there's another Balkit on top. I'll just let it go. Just wasted a fetch. Oh, they're milling, they're milling themselves. That's, that's hilarious. I mean, there's no way I can draw... I can draw a uh, Teferi, right? Urza. They make a huge thing that can't attack. They can start spinning with Urza. That's fine. They're going to let me draw this? Who would allow me to kill them? I guess I can also just fetch and then kill the Urza. I'll just wait for now. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. They mill them. <clears throat> they mill themselves. There's another whir on top. Okay.
Now, what are they worrying for now? X equals one. A relic or something? Oh, just another shredder? Okay. So they can just mill me out now. Might as well draw Valakut. Just, we only can have Valakut on top of our deck, no matter what. It's pretty funny. Now they're just going for mill me. One of our Teferis is already gone. I don't even know if the other one's milled, to be honest. I guess I can look when I fetch, but I might not have any outs to this. There's a Dryad. Sure, it doesn't really do anything. We each exile Torpor Orb and Verdict. Okay. The mana in this deck is pretty hilarious. It's just like... They're putting Sword of the Meek on top of their library. Okay. That's fine. Why are they putting it on top? Don't they want Sword of the Meek in their graveyard? They just cast it? Okay. Sure. I guess I'm just going to Verdict here. They let me draw it. There's the fairy. They're probably gonna mill it. All right, let's fetch. If I can only get mountains, they're gonna mill it again. I think they can just mill this to fairy away, right? I'm not gonna get it. Why can I not shuffle? Is it just putting back to fairy? Oh wait, ah, I didn't mean to click okay. What the hell? That's so weird. Did Teferi just come up on top of my library again? Because I failed to find. I definitely shuffled. I looked at my library. And then I just misclicked. I mean, it was likely not going to work anyway. All right, I'm just going to concede. They can just mill me out. Let me look at the rest of my library, though. All right, I think I might be showing them my library here. All right, let's just go to sideboarding. All right. Um, one second. All right, let's see. I don't even have that much for this matchup, to be honest. Should I madcap for platinum? My life total can't change? I don't think that really does anything. Does Blessing even work? Because they, they'll just choose to not mill it. I really don't have much for this matchup at all. I don't think Bale is that good. I don't think Crumble is good. I don't think Anger is good. Gust. I, I just need to just try to naturally Valakut them and, and stop them from... and stop them from getting... Uh, X proof basically with whatever that card is called. I mean, I, maybe this matchup's not that bad because I can just play out my stuff normally. I think Path and Bolt are pretty bad though, right? They don't really do anything. Can I just bring in some other cards? Like, I can just cast Blessing, maybe Millet, maybe just bring these in just because. Seems pretty bad. I mean, it might be better than Path and Bolt, though. These seem like so bad. Maybe they're going to get one up on me by sideboarding into a creature or something, but it just seems... The removal spells definitely seem bad. Let's just go with this. I'll have the Blessing. I can always just Blessing... I can. I guess I can just Blessing target myself. Probably should be in the deck. All right. Let's go. Let's play first. And this hand is pretty terrible. I think I'm just going to mulligan. Alright, this looks a lot better. Let's keep this. Just put back a path. Oh, no, no, no. That was a misclick. Put back a path. I'm misclicking a lot here. Alright, I'm, I'm back now. Girlfriend came home with the dog, so I had to go say hi to them. They led Leyline. I'm not sure if y'all saw that yet. Let's go. Valakut go. It is nice to have a Valakut in your hand, in your opening hand. Because then you can just 
have the play of just naturally validating them by just hitting land drops. Wouldn't be surprised if they take Explore with the first Thought Seize, because that allows me to go a lot faster. They just take the Bring Delight. Okay, they don't care about Explore. Let's cast it. There's a Renin Six. So weird how I'm not drawing Fetch Lands. There's 12 Fetch Lands in the deck. Um, just play a Steam Vents. That's the turn. I can't believe they were able to answer the, the Ren. Okay, there's a lantern, but no shredder. I mean, I have to deal with this. I'm going to need a Teferi. They don't have anything going yet. I mean, I can just play a Dryad and start attacking. Because I have two Rens, I think that's actually the line. I'm just going to play Dryad just as like a 2-4 beater. Seems good. I mean, it doesn't seem good, but it seems like what we can do. Let's hold up. Let me pull the curtains. It looks like getting some glare here. Okay, they play an Ashiok. So they can mill me for four and then exile my yard. But I can just start attacking the Ashiok. Wow, and then I'm going to draw another Dryad. Just going to go two, four beats. So they got rid of my Platinum, and they see that, which isn't the best. So let's just go attack Ashiok, play another Dryad, and just go on the Dryad beat plan. They might be able to get a bridge, but they also may not have access to that. So yes, they can just Ashiok minus mill me for four again. There's a Talisman, sure. Okay, they are milling me for four. Interesting. So I'm drawing Triome. And then there's another Triome on top. I think I'm just going to attack Ashok with one and then attack them with the other one. I think it's worth the two damage. I need to kill them with like my two fours, basically. Do they have a removal spell for one? And they're going to keep their Ashok alive? They are going to. Okay, well now I can just still bolt the Ashiok, use the ability yes, let's just get Island. And then hit them for two. Now I can just go Dryad. I guess I'll play Ren and Six first. I guess I can just minus the Ren and Six on the Ashiok. And then go play Dryad. And then I can just bolt them. Oh no, I can't bolt them. So I guess I hold the, the Triome. Because I can't bolt them because of this. So I'm on the 2-4 beats plan. They have a Stirrings on top. And a Needle they can name Renin 6. They took Needle, they named this. I assume. Yep. Another Lantern on top. Sure. Oh, they shuffled with Lantern because they saw our Bring to Light on top of our deck. Is this a must? You may have it. Okay, well, let's start attacking. They have a random card on top, but they can they can Academy Runes back their Lantern. So Teferi is probably my best draw. I guess I'll play this. Um, it's a May, so it doesn't matter. Just say no, and then pass. I wanted to just play the fetch land. I don't know if I needed to. Okay, they lantern, inventor's fair, and Savai triome. I guess I want to fetch away the Savai triome, and I guess I'll get my black source now. Not that it really matters. Again, I can't ballot at them because they have Leyline out and they're shuffling. Okay. So I can cycle right now, actually. Let's do that. Supreme Verdict. Not great. Something? No. 
It is another fetch though, which is decent. And I already have a three turn clock here. And if they're just redrawing lantern every turn, that doesn't really do anything. Every turn they have to crack lantern to sh make both players shuffle. For those that don't know, so this is one man artifact. Players play with the top card of their library's revealed, tap, sack, target player shuffles. Okay, so they don't actually have to shuffle, but they do have to put it back on top. Okay. Also behind on time, but I don't think that really matters. They're going to just replay, draw a lantern, replay it, and then they're going to, if I have a card that beats them, they're going to have to make me shuffle. Windswept Teeth is not it. Let's fetch again. I think I will get another land. Don't know if it's worth it, but kind of using up my mountains here that maybe is irresponsible, but I'm just going to try to attack for the win next turn. They just have an inventor's fair on top, so that's not, they actually might have to make themselves shuffle. Because, in, oh no, they can crack inventor's fair, but then they can't deploy another spell that saves them right they don't have enough mana to crack this and play um bridge ensnaring bridge yeah so they shuffle their own library to try to find something otherwise they just die to my two four beats it's just hard with this deck to lock the opponent out of any way to win they just never were able to assemble lantern plus like a uh, mill piece nice Two four beat downs. Let's go. I don't think lantern. I don't think bolts are good. Don't think time waves good. Purge also not good. I could board in crumble to dust to just hit their academy runes. Kind of funny. Might be better than just like a random path or some of the other random cards I boarded in. Supreme Verdict is also just not good. Maybe Crumble is better and just like keep Verdict for like a weird situation. All right, let's just go with this. <laughs> Crumble is so funny, but I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this Misty Rainforest plus Ren in six hand. Thoughtsies. Uh, I think they're going to take Ren. I guess it depends what else they have in hand. They do. Okay. Well, we're on this Explore Life. We have a 2 4 that we can beat down with. Drawing a land was good. I can just cast Gaia's Blessing, maybe target my own Ren at, at some point here. They just ramp and play a Lantern. Okay. Dry it on top. I need to play Explore this turn, so I'm going to. Wonder if I'm supposed to be getting mountains here. Try to draw a Valakut. I think so. Let's do it. My life, I don't think matters at all. Explore, draw, explore, play Misty, pass the turn. I'll probably fetch getting this island out of there. I don't know why this keeps changing size classic magic online quality program oh this is were for one on upkeep to get oh they might be getting needle i think i'm supposed to fetch here oh no they're just gonna get the mill piece stuff i still think i'm supposed to fetch though do i not have Where's my other Triome? Oh, I can't get it with Misty, duh. I'm an idiot over here. Maybe that was the case before. If that was the case before, that's so embarrassing. All right, let's just get Ketria. And then I'm drawing another Dryad, okay. So they're just gonna get a mill piece and then probably mill the Dryad. Why does this keep changing size? That's tilting. Okay, they mill Dryad. Oh no, they mill themselves. Oh, this is their turn. Okay. Let's go Dryad Beats. 
So we know growth spiral is on top. I don't really want to draw that. So I think I'm going to fetch. Again, I think I'm supposed to keep getting mountains. I really want to see a Valakut on top. Would you like to pay two life? I guess. I guess I want to draw Teferi as well. Would you like to pay two life? Yes. I guess I have to wait on playing Dryad. Let's play Explore, draw the Teferi. And I think I'm just going to explore again, draw the wooded foothills, play it, and pass the turn. All right, so they have Lantern plus one Shredder here. But can they beat what I have in hand? They mill themselves. And there's a bridge. That's scary. Do they take bridge here? They take needle. I think I need to crack this foothills. Maybe not. Because I can just use the mana from Dryad. So if they name wooded foothills, that's fine. I guess they're going to name Teferi. Yeah. Collective Brutality, Incident or Sorcery, so they're going to take my Blessing here. All right, there's nothing I can do. So I'm on that. I'm going to just play two Dryads here and then go for the Beats again. It's honestly a pretty reasonable strategy. There's a Verdict on top. All right, well, I'll definitely be fetching that away on my upkeep. But right now I'm just going to play two Dryads. Go for the beatdown. Needle named Teferi is pretty bad for me. Oh, okay, I need to fetch here. So let's just fetch. This is probably the last mountain I want to get because now I have five mountains. Let's just get the Savai Triome and explore on top. It's fine. Jovin's Veto, that's a good one. Straw Veto. Are you going to let me draw it? Notion Thief? Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> I have to discard a card now? And they're also going to mill my veto? Oh, they're milling their own card. Okay. Wait. Oh, they drew a card. So they, they drew the Thopter Foundry. They don't have Sword yet. I'm also at 12, and they have a 3-1. They're going to let me draw this? Notion Thief, what? What is happening? There's Thopter Foundry. I guess they can just play Thopter Foundry like fair. They can just sack artifacts and make 1-1 one, one flyings. I think I'm supposed to just attempt to draw a veto. No clue why this keeps changing size. They're going to let me draw it, and I have an Omnath on top. I cannot draw extra cards. I think I'm supposed to keep attacking. It's my only hope. They're going to mill this Omnath, right? I don't want them to, but I don't, I don't have a choice. I, need, I want to draw this Valakut as well. Don't think they're going to let me. Oh, they're, they're going to just play Ashiok. I guess I'm going to veto that. I'm going to six. If they let me draw this, that might be enough. They have to mill it, right? Okay, they're milling the Valakut. I wonder if I'm supposed to fetch in response. I don't... Think so because I can see what the top card is and then fetch to see to try to control my draw. Yeah. I guess I'm just getting a non mountain here. Okay, there's Valakut. Okay. Is that enough? Do they have to lantern me? No, they let me draw it. What? So now I get to go Valakut, kill this. Yeah. I need to kill that first because I need to um, not die. Oh, I'm just dead to this? Oh, damn. I think I'm dead, actually. 
That was close. So now they just sack five artifacts and then attack for five. Yep. Damn, they got me. And it's my end step. I could have played a Teferi, but that doesn't actually matter. Oh, I was so close. Notion Thief got me, honestly. <laughs> All right, GG's. Man, Lantern. Notion Thief, though. Are you serious? Good match, good match. That was fun. That was actually a lot of fun. People do hate on Lantern, and sometimes it's frustrating to play against, but sometimes it can be pretty fun. Let's try to win the last two in 4 1 this thing. I'll see you in round four. Round four, we're against Trick Sun Sun a Fixed One. Tricks on a Fixed One? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's go first. Hmm. Four land Volgi Bolt Path. Sure. Not sure if I'm, I'm not positive I'm supposed to keep this. I mean, this could be a, a game where we just play Valky on two. So we want to get the black, red, white land on one. So I think I just play Heath Go. Let's not stop on our upkeep. And just go Heath Go. Okay. Sweet. Raging Ravine? Is it just Jund? Is it just classic Jund? Take their Croxa? You could also just hold the Vol the Valky and try to get to 7 mana, but it's just so far off. Like, I feel like it's worth it to just play it. There's an Explorer. I mean, if I Valky take something, it's likely to die, but I could... It could be worth it. I mean, it might be better just to play Explore. Raging Ravine. So it, it's likely to be Jund, but they didn't have a Thoughtseize on one. Maybe they're waiting to Thoughtseize on two, but I don't know why they would. Hmm. So I think it's actually pretty close between these two because the only reason that it's better to not Valky now is... If I explore and draw more things to do, like if I, you know, draw a good play for turn three, either like a Jace or a Dryad or something, it's obviously better to just wait till Valky till I get to seven mana. But I think I'm just going to Valky. I'm, I'm not like super confident in this play, but I'm going to do it. So they have Bolt Bolt. So again, they're just going to kill the Valky, but at least they don't get to just deploy Bob on two. So they have to um, Bolt the Valky here. This is fine. I mean, I have a removal for their creatures anyway, but Black Cleave, Bolt, and then these are five cards plus a card they drew. Oh, they do have a Liliana, which is kind of a problem. Let's go explore. And then let's just go. Okay, Dryad's not a bad draw. Let's just go play Ketri to Triumph, play Misty Rainforest, pass the turn. Yeah, when you draw um, Valica with this deck, it just changes everything. It's so much better when you naturally draw Valica. Okay, they're going to go Liliana plus. I think potentially I should just discard this land. So they went Swamp Liliana here. It's pretty close between like land and path. I do kind of want the removal to deal with their creatures. I might not be able to to use it anyway, but I think I am just going to discard land here. I think I'm going to fetch right now to get another try land. Get a Rogren. Okay. Infinite try lands. And there's an Omnath. So 
I mean, I think they don't have a Thoughtseize effect yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Dryad. And then if they want to use Liliana to kill the Dryad, I'm able to bolt the Liliana. And yes, I two for one myself, but I deal with this. And then I get to just Omnath, which is good. And I have Path and Bolt up here. And then if I draw a fetch land to go with this Omnath, it just gets insane. Bloodstained Mire fetch right now. Play two creatures, maybe? Play Bob, play Goyth. Play Bob. Play Goyth. Why are they doing that all right now? Oh, they, they discarded the Peatland the first time. They're plussing the Liliana. I need to play the Omnath, I think. I'm just going to have to try to fight through this Liliana. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the Bolt, and then I'm going to path the Goyf, and then I can start attacking Liliana, and I get to play Omnath next turn as well. I don't want to cast this, so let's have this resolved. Then they're down to one card. They might discard the Lightning Bolt that they have. Let's discard our Christopher Rush Bolt. Much better than this one. Sorry, Christopher Mullaland. Rush has got you on this one, the classic. It's hard to beat the Ridge. Obviously, this art is good, too. This art's sweet. I actually do really like this art, but I, I think it's just the nostalgia of the original. All right, so now I'm going to pass this Goyf. They get a land. The problem is they also have this Raging Ravine. They can get Forest here. And how, oh, they get Mountain. They might have a green source in hand, potentially. Fetch land. Dry out. Okay, let's start by attacking Liliana. And then just play Omnath, because I get to draw a card with it. Because for some reason it says when it ETBs draw. Don't know why. Green, white, blue, red, Omnath. This deck just casts Omnath so consistently. The mana is actually pretty good. All right, well, there's a Renin 6, which actually is pretty solid against that Lily. They get to draw a card. They draw Bolt. It's actually not the best. Doesn't Bolt doesn't kill either of my creatures here, which is nice. Stomping Ground. Sure. Target player sacrifices a creature. I'll sacrifice a Dryad. Because if I draw a fetch land, I get to gain four, make four mana. And if I can hit multiple land drops with this, it just starts getting insane. Like, even if I just draw a land and I go, like, Ren and Six get a land, play Dryad, play another land, it starts getting pretty out of hand. Okay, they're attacking for four. I'll just take... And yeah, it looks like they are not going to be able to deal with this Omnath. Their Lily is also down to one here. So I can also Ren and Six minus. Why don't I start by attacking Liliana and see if they just let it go? Oh, I could have I could have Ren and Six minus here and then guaranteed kill the Lily, but this works the same, I think. So we know that they have another Lightning Bolt, right? Because they revealed it to Bob. I wonder if they're going to chump here. Because then if I go Ren and Six minus Kill Lily, they can bolt my Ren and Six. Yeah. I mean, I don't want them to have Lily on the table. I feel like that's one way that I lose. But if I go Ren and Six plus, they cannot bolt the Ren and Six. And then I also get to deploy Dryad this turn. And I get to hit a land drop. And their Lily's just at one. They make me discard Bring to Light. How good is having this Bring to Light? I feel like I'm going to go for the Ren and Six plus line. I'm not sure, but I 
feels like it's like enough value. Like what, they're gonna Liliana plus? They're gonna have to discard a card. They're not gonna be able to deal with a Ren. Yes, they get this Bring to Light. But then I'm then I'm just playing off the top. Alright. Alright, I'll just kill the Lily. I'm not sure. I lose my Ren and Six permanently, but I deal with their Lily and two for one of them here. They have to bolt the Ren and Six. I guess they don't, because they can just attack it with a uh, Raging Ravine. Oh, they bolt. Oh, that was a that was a reason. Oh my god, that was a that was a mistake. That was a punt. Sorry for that. I should have just gone Ren and Six minus on the Bob. Wow, and they bled right into Liliana. I'm just I just got ultra punished. Just wondering if there's any way I want to keep this bring to light. My Ren and Six is gonna die. I got ultra like maximum punished here. Not sure what I even want to get with this Bring to Light. I, I'm not, I might not even be able to cast it. Uh, I'm feeling pretty bad about that misplay. Obviously, I should have gone Ren and 6 minus, killed Dark Confidant, and then attack. That was a much better line because we knew they had Bolt. That was just, I just played terribly. Well, I deserve this one. Again, this deck is pretty tough to play, and I'm pretty new to it, so it's understandable that I'm going to make some mistakes, but I'm, I'm definitely losing this game here, and I think I might have been able to win it, so it's just my fault. I think like, just standard Jun should be a pretty good matchup for this deck, because we're kind of just like a, wow, just top deck Blood Braid into Thoughtseize. All right, I'm just going to concede. Just going to shame concede here, I think. I don't I guess I'll keep playing. I don't think I have any outs though. They attack for six, I go to seven, and I top deck something and then they just kill me. Let's see what we draw. All right, that sucked. I definitely just totally, I, I de de definitely messed that game up. Brutal, really brutal. All right, let's get Purge in here. Let's get Veil of Summer actually. Veil of Summer is still good against Liliana and Thoughtseize and Inquisition and everything. Aethergust also not bad. It's not great, but I think it's strong enough. Path, most of the time I'm not going to want to path them, but it's like still fine. They can cut some number of paths. I want the Renin 6. I, think I like to just cut some growth spirals because... It's just that the list is so tight, there's not that much to cut. I could cut one Bring to Light because they're going to have like a lot of like Thought Seasons and stuff. This card is really strong, but it costs 5 mana. I don't think I want Veto. Alright, let's try it like this. I think Veil of Summer is good in this matchup. Maybe I should keep the Growth Spirals and then board out to Explorers because Growth Spiral is better with uh, Veil. Because I can leave up mana for Veil and then Grow Spiral. I know it's harder to cast, but the mana is pretty good and you have 30 mana sources. I mean, yeah, four of them are this, but I still think it's, I think this might be better to just side out a couple of Explorers. So if I had gone Ren and Six, minus Kill Dark Confidant, attack Liliana, kill it, then they go Bolt Ren and Six maybe or not, but then. Then I'm actually in a reasonable spot. Also, Ren and Six Plus might have been decent. Wow, 61 cards. Did they have 61 the first time? All right, snap keep this. Do I lead Ketri to Triome or Valakut? Probably Triome. I don't think there's a reason to have to play Valakut this early, and this makes my mana better. I can play this off an Explorer or a Growth Spiral. It's nice to side out two explorer effects, two actual explorers, and then still have two in your opening hand. They're obviously best in your opening, so it's nice. Thought sees me. Yep. Definitely threw that game away. But I'm still learning with the deck, so I shouldn't be too hard on myself. And it just doesn't matter what they take at all. I'm going to cast one of these effects next turn, regardless. 
I should probably just take Growth Spiral because my mana is good enough. I can just cast it no matter what. I'm not expecting them to have Blood Moon, but maybe they do. They're like deep in the tank here. I mean, isn't it just, yeah, it doesn't really matter and just take Growth Spiral because it's just better. I think I'm just going to get, I guess I want to continue just deploying mountains. I think I'll just pay two life, explore, play Valakut. Okay. I cannot play Verdict next turn. That's okay. I may want to just play a fetch land to continue to play mountains out here. They know about Verdict. I could have played Fetchland. Yeah, to try to have Verdict up, but I think I'm fine to wait and let them draw a card here. There's obviously nothing I can do at this point anyway. I'll probably get the Savai Triome here. They draw Black Cleave Cliffs. Okay, they're probably going to play it. They do. They attack for two. Do I just need to verdict away one Dark Confidant? I mean, they're probably going to Liliana here. They do nothing. All right, let's get Savai Triome. Oh, I can't with Misty. God damn, I'm so bad with this deck. Um, I guess we just get Rogran then. I mean, I'm going to get up to this Falcon at some point. All right. Oh, I still can't. I still can't cast Verdict. Wow. All right, this can get to buy Triome, and then I can cast Verdict. Oh man, that's brutal. I could have cycled Catcher of Triome now. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to cycle it. There's a Renin Six. They're just gonna play that, I assume. Thought sees me take Verdict. Oh man, I'm just, I just fucked this match up. It'll, that'll happen. They're at 14. Again, I think I want to just continue playing Mountains out here. And they play Goyf. Do I still want to cycle this to have a, at least a play? Probably. So they have a Ren and Six in hand. All right, let's get to Vitrion. That's four Mountains. I think I should cycle. I just need like I just need plays here. I guess I could have cycled in response to Thoughtseize, try to draw Veil of Summer. There's a bolt. Again, I could have cycled on my turn to try to find a play, but I didn't really want to do that. Let's just bolt this. Just not playing well here. I'll just try to stay positive and, and turn it around from here though. Path to Exile. That's a good draw. So let's play a fifth mountain. So next mountain, I trigger Balakit and I can path the Goyf. Problem is they have a Renin Six. Maybe no fetch land to go with it. I have a lot of good draws. Maybe I keep this Misty around. There's a Blood Braid. Oh no. Into Thoughtseize. Okay. Well, now I just go path the Goyf. I wonder if I keep this fetch land around in case I draw Omnath. Or is it better just to get a Tri Land? I could also draw a Dryad. I think I'm supposed to just keep it in play. It's good with Dryad, it's good with Jace. It's good with Omnath. That's a lot of possible draws that it's good with. Does make me be able to get another Tryland and then have it be untapped, but I have plenty of mana here. Let's just leave it in play. Non mountain land was brutal there. All right, we do get to play another Valica pass, and now I can start double triggering on any mountain I draw. Another reason not to fetch is to keep another mountain as a possible draw, which is good. Now if they just attack with Raging Ravine, I get hit for 7, and then I'm pretty much dead. They can go 
Oh, they're not attacking with Raging Ravine. That's good for me. Maybe I'm dead to double bolt here. Liliana. They're going to plus. Make me discard this forest. I could have gone for a more aggressive line here because... I guess I would need another fetch land to be able to deal with the Raging Ravine, but... We would have just attacked for seven there. I mean, obviously I haven't been playing well, so I can't really talk. I still have Renin Six. Shouldn't they just play at minus? Deal me one. Oh, Goyf. Okay. Well, now I am just in trouble. I guess if I draw Bring to Light or Scape Shift, I win. I could th thin now, but let's just not. There's another fetch land, okay. But I only get two triggers. I'm gonna have to do it on their combat step. Oh, I think I'm just dead, especially if they fire this up. I think I'm just dead. Cause I can get two Valakut triggers here, but it's just not quite enough. Damn. Just, if I had drawn the Misty instead of the Forest last turn, maybe? No, it, it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, okay, then they didn't fire up Raging Ravine. So now I can double bolt the Goyf, go to two? Oh no, but then I just die because I have to double fetch. So I think I, I'm just dead. Because then I go to four and I die to Goyf. Yep. Oh, I can do this, and then go to 1, and then I die to um, Ren and 6. Close. Close. I was almost able to stabilize or just kill them. I had a lot of good draws as outs, but I die to Ren and 6 now. Why are, do they not have this in hand? Yeah. GG's. I, I, I miss when they just cast Stomp. Bone Crusher Giant, that's an interesting one. I just I just messed that match up. Let's try to 3 2 this now. Alright, let's get the last one. I think the deck is good. It is difficult to play for sure, so I I can certainly do better with this deck. If I was gonna play this deck in some type of like PTQ or something, which one I probably wouldn't do, I'd probably rather play some prowess deck or something. But um I would need to practice with it a lot. It's definitely not a deck that is easy to just pick up and be totally um, skilled with. So I should not get too upset with myself for misplaying. And uh, I'm still like relatively new, kind of getting back into modern. So again, there's a lot of things that can go differently. All right, we're on the draw. We snap mulligan the zero land hand in our 30 land deck. And this one will keep, I think, get rid of escape shift. See what we're up against. They're on seven, we're on six. We have double path. We have a dryad and a velika and a savai triom. Burn, huh? Land? Nice. So I think I'm gonna to want to path this. I need to get planes here, as awkward as that is. Let's do it. I'll just let them attack first, and then I'll path it. Swift spear. Now do I path path the swift spear? Probably. Just let them attack with both. I am gonna path the swift spear. It's generally gonna be able to attack for two damage, and. Um, I'd rather get another Goblin Guide trigger. I guess I could have let that resolve first, but it worked out. Path the Swiss Spear, and then next turn I can path this. I need to get this Omnath down, basically. All right, so I think I play Savai Triome, pass, and then plan to path this. I'm at 12, so I could certainly be dead, but it's kind of tough for them to kill me this turn exactly. 
Eidolon. I'm probably just not going to play... Do I have to play Dryad? I think actually I do, because I need to be able to Omnath plus gain 4 on turn 4. So... I go Windswept Teeth, Forest, go to 11, and then Dryad go down to 9, and then play an extra tap land. I don't even have a blue source yet as well. So let's get Forest, play Dryad. I'm going to need to take an, an additional damage off this Misty to get a blue source for this, which sucks. Nine, they get a, they, they fetch. I don't know, I guess I don't because I have Dryad, but they could attack, kill my Dryad. I wonder if it's worth it just to play a Valakut here. Hope this survives. If it doesn't, it's just so bad for me. I'll just play Misty, and then I don't have to crack it necessarily, but maybe I should have played like a, a tap land there, held the Misty in hand, and just hope Dryad survives. Like, they're going to attack. Oh, they didn't. They have three cards in hand. Mm, I might be punished here. If I'm able to get any game life trigger off this Omnath, I should be good to go. Let's just untap. Okay, now I should be good. So I go red, blue, white, green. Play Omnath, play Wooded Foothills, I gain four. They could double burn spell this, but they need to do that in response to the draw trigger. They concede the game to Omnath. Oh my god, this card. This card. You know what playing this deck wants me wants to it makes me want to build a deck similar to this, but more along the lines of red green Valakut. And then you just play Dryad, additional copies of Omnath, three or four copies of Omnath. You play Dryad, Omnath, Primeval Titan, and you don't play Bring to Light. Um maybe that's worse. But you just kind of go like a more into like a primeval titan end, end game rather than the bring to light scape shift. I don't know what's better, but I mean this card has really impressed. And then just even up the amount of two mana ramp spells, and then just plan on like being a turn three Omnath deck because Omnath is just so good. I might build. I might build that um, at some point soon here. Okay. Anger of the gods. Veto, timely reinforcement that we can tutor for. Bring to light is really strong, especially with Valky. So this build honestly might just be better. Platinum Imperion, Mad Cab. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff. Aether Gust. Jeez, that's a lot of hate. That is a lot of hate. I think Jace is a little bit slow. Teferi seems slow. Renin Six isn't bad, but. It might be too slow as well. I think I want to keep Scapeshift, Verdict. I even think I want to keep Valky because Bring to Light Valky is just so strong. Our opponent disconnected. They might just be coming, they might just be um, restarting Magic Online because of lag. Or maybe they're pissed that um, this card is just really strong. <laughs> I don't like this border as much as just the OG border, so I might have to switch that if I can. I could board out one Bring to Light, but it is, if I'm able to get up to Bring to Light, then I can Bring to Light like Madcap and win that way. Maybe they have Path for it. I can also Bring to Light for Timely. It just costs five mana. Just do this, because it is my most expensive spell. Or maybe not bring in Anger because I have all these one mana removal spells. Like, what's the chance that I nab two things with this? I feel like it's better than the fourth Bring to Light. Four or five mana spells is a lot, but all right, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. I think the Planeswalkers are just a little bit sketchy in this matchup. I don't really need them. I kind of just need to ramp into Bring to Light for Madcap, ramp into Bring to Light for Scapeship for the win, or just even getting Valky is good in some situations, and just like killing them with Valka. I don't need like Teferi's to protect against. Oh shit, I didn't submit. 
I think we just got punished. <laughs> No! <laughs> well, we'll see if our opponent comes back. I'll, I'll pause for a second here. Oh man, God. I have no sideboard. It's so massive in this matchup. I just threw this game too. Well, I'm still going to try. They keep seven. Keep... I think I want to keep Supreme Verdict to try to play a potential turn three verdict. So I'm just going to put back a forest. Then I can fetch for a Triumph on one. Maybe I just put back a Windswept to take less damage. All right. Oh man, I, I was just talking. See, that's a mistake I would not make if I wasn't recording as well. It's hard to talk and manage everything in the game and be talking about all your decisions rather than just actually doing them. All right, we drew a Valakut. I could just play Valakut and then play Explore on two. Sure. Feels pretty bad not sideboarding though. Just because I didn't submit. Are they going to play like an idol on here and just kill me? They don't play anything? Let's go explore and then play a fetch. And then fetch a triome. Boros charm me down to 12 and then hit me down to 10. There's the path. Okay. So now I can fetch a planes and then just path that after they attack. I guess I'm not even, because I played these lands, I couldn't even have verdicted anyway. <laughs> I need to work on this deck, honestly. It's just, like, uh, pretty bad. I should uh, be able to play better than this. And I know, personally, it's not the content I like to watch if I'm watching somebody make a lot of mistakes. So that's one reason why I, like kick myself for making mistakes so much is because I don't like to watch other content when people are just not playing well. I like to see players who are really good. So I think that's why I kick myself so much when I make mistakes. Okay. There's a scape shift. Okay, maybe I can just win this game somehow. Taking two more damage down to six seems like a pretty bad proposition. I guess I don't need to. I can just go Dryad, play two fetches, and then use them for mana to play Renin 6. Go green, red, Renin 6. So I can win next turn because I can get a land back. And if I don't die, then I can just play two lands, scape shift, deal them 18, which I was gonna say they're not, they were at uh, 19, but then I could minus Renin 6 for the last point. But now I can just Scape shift next turn if I don't die. I'm at eight. So they need triple burn spell here or double Boros charm. Rift bolt suspended. Looks like we're good. Might just get bailed out with no sideboard here. Second dryad. I am able to play. Oh, I can just start bolting them right now, I guess. Always. Yes. I can always take off that auto yield at some point. Not going to take any damage, that's for sure, though. Just bolt them twice, play a Dryad, and then play a Scape Shift. It's better to play Dryad first so they can't play Removal in response to Scape Shift here. Not that it matters, I can just play it safe and just get a bunch of Mountains. In case they have Double Path. Escape shift. And then I can just sack all everything. Wow. That was pretty impressive from the deck there. So nice. Ended up getting 3-2 after misclicking by not sideboarding against Burn, which is like the matchup you want to sideboard for. But our draw actually ended up being pretty good, and we just was that a turn four win or turn five? I'm not sure, but 
they just conceded to Omnath because we were going to gain four and then gain four on their turn and they didn't have the win. The deck is actually really strong. As you saw, I 3 2 that league and I feel like the first two games I played fine because it kind of just like came together. I didn't need to make hard decisions. Matches three and four, I think I just punted. I might have been able to play win those matches with more experience, but you can see the deck is actually really strong. Um, I love these decks that just have so many mana sources, and here's why. It's because you have so many mana sources, it's good to have like a five land hand a lot of times, and it feels so nice because it really reduces the amount you have to mulligan. When your deck is half lands and you want to have a lot of lands, it's just like you're always going to have that. And then you even can function with like two to three lands in your hand because you're going to draw more lands. So just the likelihood that you function with this deck because you have such a high land count goes up. And then the power level of the deck is also just really high with Omnath, Jace, Teferi, Dryad, and then the Bring to Lights. Bring to Light is just like the new all-star card in in conjunction with Valky. It's just like you get this free package of like these like this little tutor package in your deck of like, you know, Valky, Scapeshift, Verdict, Omnath, Jace. Um, and then you just get so many copies of each card because of Bring to Light. Um, so I think it's just really strong. Um, as far as changes to the deck, I don't know if I would make any changes. Maybe I'd play like a third Renin 6, but I, I'm not even sure exactly what I would cut. Could go greedy and cut like one removal spell, but this seems to be a reasonable number. You want a high number of these in the matchups you want them, and then it's good to just side them out. Um, so I probably wouldn't make any changes, to be honest. The mana, belt, the mana base felt great. Um, mana felt good, and uh, deck felt really strong. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Card Order for the loan account, and shout out to them. Till next time, I'll see you there. Peace.